The F-35 Lightning II, one of the most advanced, fifth-generation fighter jets in the world, has once again made headlines, this time for a tragic mishap in Alaska. On January 28, 2025, an F-35A belonging to the U.S. Air Force crashed near Isleson Air Force Base, about 25 miles southwest of Fairbanks. The aircraft, valued at nearly $195.5 million USD, was destroyed. The pilot managed to eject safely, but suffered minor injuries, including a spinal compression fracture and neck trauma. Dramatic footage captured the jet tumbling vertically with its landing gear, extended before slamming into the ground and exploding into a massive fireball. An overspeed gear warning soon followed, as the aircraft accelerated past 275 knots, calibrated airspeed, a reading common in extreme cold, but also a sign of potential gear malfunction. The pilot declared an in-flight emergency and, with the help of Lockheed Martin engineers, via conference call, attempted several troubleshooting procedures. These included a touch-and-go maneuver to realign the landing gear, but the right main landing gear failed to fully extend. For over an hour, the pilot and support team tried to resolve the issue. But as time passed, ice built up inside the hydraulic system, causing water contamination in the fluid to freeze. This failure cascaded, disabling the uplock hook mechanism that keeps the gear properly locked. This freezing also disrupted critical sensors. The F-35's avionics rely on strut sensors to detect weight on wheels. But with ICE altering the compression data, the system was fooled into believing the aircraft was already on the ground. As a result, the jet prematurely entered ground mode, while still airborne, overriding flight controls and creating a dangerous conflict. Despite the pilot's efforts, the automation continued processing commands as if the aircraft were taxiing on the runway not flying at altitude. An interim safety board was convened within 24 hours. A senior officer from Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico, led the inquiry. Investigators interviewed witnesses, analyzed wreckage, and reviewed the pilot's 72-hour activity history, including rest cycles and medical records, to rule out human error.